But it's, that's what we're facing these days. Everybody's, uh, everybody's trying to fight us, and uh, these situations can go south for us real quick. And a man is behind bars tonight accused of knocking an Anderson County deputy unconscious and running off with his gun. This all happened in Belton while law enforcement was trying to serve a warrant. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell is joining us live from the Anderson County Detention Center right now where the suspect Dylan Six is in custody. Ann. That's right, Amy. Six will be here until at least tomorrow. We've learned he does have a criminal history, including charges for domestic violence, driving without a license, and petty theft. This latest incident began earlier today with a coincidence. After about 30 minutes on the run, Anderson County deputies handcuffed a man suspected of attacking another deputy. Dylan Six is charged with resisting arrest with a deadly weapon, taking a firearm from a law enforcement officer, and violating probation. I have hardly any words to express to you how grateful I am that our deputy is okay. But this all began with an arrest warrant for someone else, who authorities say left a restaurant without paying. Belton Police Chief Tommy Clamp tells 7 News one of his officers and an Anderson County deputy worked together to make an arrest on Brazil Street in Belton. The officer went to the front door and the deputy went to the back door to serve that warrant. While they were here, Dylan Six came out of the back door. Chief Clamp tells me Six has had several run-ins with local law enforcement in the past. They ran his identification, pulling up a warrant that showed Six had violated his probation. That's when it got physical. The deputy was uh, briefly knocked unconscious. His weapon was, sidearm was taken. By the time the police officer at the front door realized what had happened, he saw Six running toward the woods with the deputy's gun. He's not the, uh, the most savory of characters. He's kind of just part of that uh, uh, continuous criminal element that we are continuously having to deal with. Law enforcement found Six hiding under an abandoned house not too far from where the deputy was attacked. Neighbors tell 7 News it's a rough area. I wish we had more patrol around here and I know they have a hard job but they need it. They really, really need it. Deputies also recovered that stolen gun. Reporting live in Anderson County and Maxwell, 7 News.